Hello, hi, I'm Ashley. I'm here at Joyful Noise Learning, and we are going to share with you a lesson with math with confidence, and we specifically are doing first grade math with confidence right now with my six-year-old. And I thought it'd be a great idea to do a lesson so you can take a peek at how we do it, what materials we need, and how it can possibly work for you in your house with your family. So by the way, if we haven't met yet, I am Ashley. I talk about Charlotte Mason inspired homeschool, um, biblically based curriculum and uh, affordable homeschool curriculum here on my channel. So I'm glad you're here. Please take a minute to subscribe if you haven't yet. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, before I pull Corbin in here, what we have with Math with Confidence is just two books. So you have the Math with Confidence Teacher's Guide. It's pretty big, y'all. Look how big that is. So we've got the teacher's guide that it comes with and you're gonna need the student workbook. This one is not as big. <laughs> this one has one page front and back per lesson for your kid. That's all it is. I love that, I love that. It's super fun, super simple. Something they can do independently and practice the things that you have taught them with the lesson. So if your question is, do I need the teacher's guide to go with my student workbook? The answer is yes, a resounding yes because this isn't all there is to the math lessons. This is like just a tiny, tiny piece. This is a tiny, tiny piece. This is the meat. This is where you get all the good, good, good stuff that are gonna be good for your kid. And um, yeah, so all right, let's get into the lesson and here we go. So if you're wondering what materials we need for this lesson, uh, this is it. So these are things that you probably have on hand. You need a pencil, obviously. You probably need a ruler for this lesson. Uh, she told us that we needed, uh, these are inch square blocks. These came with my Right Start math curriculum, but you can get these and you're gonna use these for most of the measuring units. We've got some yarn. Hopefully you've got some laying around the house and simple scissors, some tape, index cards, and then obviously your books. So this is what I did. Uh, Corbin and I just did ahead of time was cut out the yarn and taped them to a piece of paper. Um, it did say to tape them to the table, but we just got a brand new table. So I went ahead and taped it to the paper. So what lesson are we on Corbin? You don't know. Uh, it's lesson 18.2. All right. We always start our lesson with a memory work warm up. So count by tens starting at four. Now that's kind of tricky. Do you want me to help you out? So if we start at four and we add 10, what would the next number be? Four plus five equals nine. That's right. Here. So, plus okay. ten. That would be ten. No, four yeah. plus ten would be what? Just add a ten to your four. One would be ten. That would be eight. Like so, telling us to use our hundreds chart. So, let's start at four and we're going to add ten. So, what, then what would be the next number? Fourteen. Twenty-four. Three. Thirty-four. 44, 40, 54. Good. 64. Good. 74, 84, 94, 10, 104. One more. 114. Okay, do you notice the pattern? Are you gonna keep going all the way? 124. Good. 134, 144. Nice job, dude. Uh, do you notice the pattern there? What number is in all of those numbers? Four. Good. And then what happens with the tens place? Four. 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 Five. How much is a dime? Ten. Good. Um, Play make 20 memory, lesson 13.4. Okay, I didn't get the stuff out for that part, but you're gonna have a quick game that you do usually at the beginning or the end of your lesson with your kid. So the game for this one would be make 20 memory game. I didn't get that out for right now. So we're gonna go on to the next activity. So that was the whole like warm up section. So easy peasy, how long did that take us Corbin? Was that like two minutes? I don't think that was a minute at all. Oh, he doesn't think it was a minute at all. 
So that was very short for, probably would be five more minutes if we played a game, huh? So now our activity is to compare lengths indirectly. So in the bold here, it tells me what I say out loud and then it gives me instructions um, in the, not bold words is what I don't have to say out loud. So in the last lesson, you compared the lengths of pads and measured them on a grid. Today, we'll learn more about comparing and measuring length. In the last lesson, we used yarn. Do you remember that? We did this all the way yeah. back there. Remember when we did yarn to measure the toy to the house? Okay. Um, it was easy to see which piece of yarn was the shortest and which one was the longest uh, when you line them up. But it's more difficult to compare lengths when they're not lined up. So are these lined up, Corbin? No. Yeah, let's show them. Are they lined up? Nope. One way to compare lengths is with our fingers, okay? So let's compare a couple with your fingers. You no, know, all the way over, you know, just, just like this. Yeah, there you go. Now, can you find one that, let's, let's do that against this one. So just hold up your fingers. Okay, which one is longer? It's three. It's, it's almost three of these, is that what you're noticing? Cool. So which one's longer? More than three. Is it this one or this one longer? This one. Yeah, okay. We've kind of talked about inches a little bit before, okay? Can I do with a pencil? pencil? Well, you don't know how big the inch is. Are you just gonna guess? Is that about an inch? Let's see if you're you're right. You were really close, Corbin. You're, you're maybe right. you're you're maybe a little bit shorter than it. So pretty right. That's right. Pretty right. Pretty right. Okay. So how many how many inches is that piece? One, two. Awesome. So we can also compare the yarn lengths by measuring them. So this pattern, wait, look at this really quick. This block is one inch long. You wanna check it with our ruler? We can check it with the ruler. Look at that, it's exactly one inch. So here, let's, let's, here, for the sake of showing our friends, let's, let's line, up the, line up them like that. Let's see how many inches this one is. Nice Six. job. We have six. Awesome. Okay, let's do another one. That one is not as many as six. How many do you think that is? Five. Five, okay. You wanna do another one? Oh, we need more. There you go. Nine. Nine, oh yeah, that's the only one. things in the room that might be an inch long. Do you see anything? Oh, it's a foot. That's a foot long, that's right, let's see. We have a lot of things that are more than an inch, huh? Oh, how about my pinky? How long is my pinky? Longer. It's longer, what about your pinky? Oh, it is longer than an inch, so it's about an inch and a half. Hmm, I don't see anything. Wait, how long are these two cars? Oh, let's try that. Let's see how long that is. Hmm. It's gonna be two. Oh, two. Yeah, almost exactly two inches. Cool. Your cars are two inches long. Yeah. All right. So let's let's try to figure out. Um, again, I'm not always saying exactly what's in here, but I'll read it really quickly, and then I'll just turn to him, and we'll just talk about it, and kind of go with whatever he's going. So measuring the cars was not in the in the book. He he thought about doing that, so I went with it. Drawing the squares wasn't in the book. It was what he suggested. All right, now Corbin in our book. Oh, it's wide at one inch. It is? Oh, you're right. Oh, not, not counting the wheels though. The wheels make it a little wider, huh? But the car is. Cool. All right, can you take your fingers and show me about one inch with just your fingers? Is that about it? Oh yeah, how about in between? So it's about that much. It's not very big. So now when you're out and about and you want to measure something with an inch, you can be like, okay, I know this is about an inch. 
So let's see your nose. <laughs> it's a little longer than an inch. Yeah, if you go all the way up here, that's where your nose stops. So it's a little longer than an inch. Yeah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> now what do we do? Oh, so we measured them. Oh, we forgot to label them. <laughs> Nice. Okay, we skipped ahead. We're supposed to label them. So do you remember how many of these were? So I'm going to take a, uh, my index card. This is six. That it's one was six. six? Okay. All right, so I, I would write. Oh, you want to do it? Here, I'm, let me make them a little smaller. Wait, wait. Here? No, that's a, that's a backwards six, but here, write it on this. Let's see. Here's, so a six starts that way and goes that way. There you go. Six, and then write I. If you haven't started homeschooling yet or you're thinking about starting homeschooling or if you've just started then I have a simple ebook to help you with all that and getting started a step-by-step -step guide to getting started homeschooling it's called ready set homeschool and I'll leave a link to that in the description below and if you know a friend who might be able to benefit from this then please share it with them and if you're not ready to jump in with the ebook I do just have a free checklist with uh, this, the checklist on what you need to do to get started. And the ebook just goes into more detail about it. Um, basically, I wanted to hold your hand through it, through the steps of where to start, what curriculum do I use, how do I get started homeschooling? <laughs> I wanted to answer that question and be a friend who can just help you and guide you through that step. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. You can check that out. I did it. Okay. Can draw arrows for all of them. Ta -da! Yay, nice. Okay, so now that we've measured all the pieces of yarn, it's easier to put them in order from shortest to longest. Now they want us to take them off the paper and put them in shortest to longest. You want to do that or leave them on the paper? Leave them on the paper. Okay, that's fine. We'll adapt to that. So you're supposed to take them off the paper or the table and then lay them out so you can see shortest and longest. But let's let's point to them. What's one of the, which one is the shortest? Okay, next one. Okay, now five, six, and then nine, yeah. So now we pull this out and he will usually do this part all on his own. Right, Corbin? Do I help you with these sometimes? Or do you usually do it by yourself? All right, that was quick. How long did that take you? I don't know. That was like 10 seconds. <laughs> so, took you like 10 seconds to do that? Okay, so in the workbook, the first page, so it literally has two pages, like front and back, that's it. So the first page is practicing what you just did in your lesson. The next page is a review of what you've already done in the past. So he's already done some of these addition concepts and then some more just practicing addition down here. So he already did this page. He goes ahead in his workbook sometimes. <laughs> so um, we're going to have him go to here. Oops. Oh, did you miss that one? How many is that? Let's figure it out. Nice. Three. Nice job. Sure. All right. So let's go. Where are you at in your book? You are on chapter 19, huh? Oh, here we go. Ooh. So you want to practice this one? These are each a feet. So how many feet is this robot high? So no, this side. feet <laughs> and then how about this so that would have been the practice and this would be the review so so what numbers go together to make 100 I forgot to introduce you what's your name Corbin. Corbin and how old are you six six and were you in first grade this year this last year yeah so he was in first grade this last year and 
he's coming up into second grade and so we're finishing his first grade workbook right yes yes we're hanging out together <laughs> okay uh what was i gonna say about math with confidence what were we gonna say oh so how long does it take so you saw how long long it took it was maybe 10 15 minutes for the lesson and then it took him five minutes to do his sheet he likes to do the sheets, right? Do you like this book? Yeah. So how many sheets do you do at a time? One. Sometimes you do more than one. Sometimes you do like two, two. or three. I think that was your other book. That was your kindergarten book. You went really fast through that one, didn't you? Do you remember that? Do you like it? Yes. Do you like because it? Because of the math. You like it because of the math? Yeah. Yeah? Because of my book, I mean. Oh, you like your math book? I like the math games. So as you can see in the next lesson, it's gonna be adding bingo. So that's a fun game. We like playing that one. We've done one like that before, huh? Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we're glad you are here and I hope this was helpful for you and I'm glad Corbin enjoyed doing this with me. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Have you used math with confidence yet or you haven't yet? And what grade is your kid going to go into? If you would like to see my flip through of kindergarten math with confidence, you can check that one out. Um, I will also have a video out of right start math versus math with confidence. And if you'd like to get this curriculum for yourself, I've got a link in the description below. So yeah. All right. Say goodbye.